Uh, so here is what we'll be covering in this course. First, we will talk about what is Langchain, why we use it, what problem does it actually solve, and then we will set up our Python environment so that we can actually start using Langchain and start interacting with these APIs, right? So once we have that set up, we are then going to start diving deep into the core components of Langchain. First off, we're going to start working with chat models, meaning uh, we'll basically just interact with OpenAI's chat models, Claude's chat models, all of that in the first section. The second core component of Langchain is going to be prompt templates. Basically make our prompts to the AI as templates and add placeholders in it so that it can take dynamic values. All right, the next component. It gets really interesting from this point onwards. The third component of Langchain is going to be chains, okay? So chains in Langchain are like an assembly line. Each step handles a specific task and passes it to the next. Here's a real world example. Okay, so imagine chains like making a coffee, right? First you have to grind it, then brew it, then steam it, and then serve it, right? So that's exactly what we're doing here as well. So if there is a complex workflow, we'll be dividing it into smaller tasks. And once the first task is done, the result of that is passed to the second task. So that is why it's even called Langchain. And even the logo of Langchain has a picture of chains because it links various processes like models, chat models, prompts, databases, calls into a unified workflow. And we have plenty of real world examples for that as well in this course. And then we have RAGS. This is a pretty huge section in this course. And it's one of those important technologies that are helping businesses to increase productivity. So if you've ever heard of custom chatbots trained on a company's private data, the data could be in the form of PDFs or it could be from the database or, and users can sort of chat with the data, then this is what's going on. RAGS or Retrieval Augmented Generation. And finally, we are going to wrap up this course with another critical component of Langchain, which is called Agents and Tools. Basically think of AI agents like a human agent who can see a problem and use various tools to solve that particular problem. It can sort of interact with APIs, send emails automatically, scrape data from a website, uh, run a Python script, or even query a database. I'll give you an example. Imagine an AI agent gets a task to book a meeting. Just like a human, it can check your calendar, it can send an email invite, it can update the CRM as well, all automatically, right? So that is the power of Langchain agents. They can use the right tool for each and every single step. Here is a quick tip. If you want to get a complete overview first, try watching the whole course at 2x speed. Then you can go back and focus on the parts that you actually need most. That's how I learn it because it lets me see the big picture first and see how everything sort of fits together. In the next section, let's talk about what is Langchain, why we even need it. I'm pretty excited and I'll see you there.